So, you want to add cloth physics to your game? Not a problem. Shoutouts to everyone who helped me solve this problem online, and big shoutouts to user RI6NR3LY4U. Really appreciate you taking the time to explain the entire process. It really helped, man. Thank you. So, for starters, if you're in Blender, you need an armature with at least a single bone. Click your mesh, shift click your armature, control P with automatic weight, and this will give your mesh weight painting data. Then click your mesh, control A, apply all transformations, and make sure that your first bone is named root. And export your usual way with an FBX. If you're in Maya, you do the exact same thing, change the name of the root bone, click the cloth, shift click the bone, find skin so it has weight painting data, and export as usual. Now, once you're in Unreal, import your FBX and make sure you include the geometry and skin data. The skeleton should be set to none. Double click on your rig, right click, create clothing data, right click again, apply clothing data. Go to the Windows tab and open the clothing tab. Then activate the cloth paint and click on your data to start painting. Now under your brush, you can control the size of the radius over here and the paint value controls the strength of the brush. 100 means whatever you paint will completely be controlled by the physics engine. Likewise, 50 means whatever you paint is only halfway affected by the physics engine. But an easy way to do this is just to paint the bottom and then under tool, change it to smooth and then fill in between automatically. When you're done, deactivate the painter and it should be working. But you probably want to check the collider. Here you can see that our collider is kind of at a funny angle, which means the cloth might look a bit weird. So just adjust it however you see fit. If your clothing is not interacting with the collider, it probably means your mesh has no weight paint data or you forgot to apply all transformations before exporting. Regardless, when you're done, save, and now you can add it to any character you want. For example, if I go to the default third person character blueprint, I can add a skeletal mesh and on the right we can use the cape we just created. You're done. Now we have cloth physics. Now if you are not happy with the way it's moving, you can go back into your rig and under cloth data, config, chaos cloth config, and environmental properties, you can change the dampening and local dampening. Dampening controls how loose the clothing is, so if we set it really high, this is what happens. And local dampening controls how floaty it is. So if we set that high, then this is what happens. I will personally usually do something like 0.2 and 0.02, but you can obviously pick whatever value works best for you. Anyway, I hope that helps. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.